Hey, welcome back to Midas Letter Live. My guest this segment is Rex Carey. He's the Chief Operating Officer of Fluorotech, which does cannabis testing, and they are publicly traded on the TSX Venture under the symbol TEST. Rex, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me this morning. You bet. Why don't we start with an overview exactly how your business runs and what it is you do. Fluorotech is a startup. Uh, what we do is we test cannabis. We've got a, a device that the technology came from the University of Calgary. It developed into uh, a device that will test plants. We can test for THC, CBD potency, and then we can test for contaminants such as heavy metal, pesticides, mycoblutinol, mm. alpha toxins. Mm. Uh, we have a whole range of tests that will come through. Interesting. When we're testing, we actually reduce the plant material down to a fluid. Okay. Because it gets, it's in a fluid, the step for us then to take it to saliva is actually fairly easy. So the next product that we're coming out with is a roadside test. And we'll, ha we'll have roadside tests that will go with uh, law enforcement that will be coming out uh, by the end of the year. Hmm. If the, once that device is complete, uh, we then take it to the in industry for industry testing, anywhere that there is hazardous or safety related uh, sure. jobs. Oh, that's interesting. So that solves two big issues. I mean, in Canada, we've got testing pretty much under control, but I know in California, for example, the increased testing requirements have caused 80% of the supply to be illegible for distribution through the medical system. So is that your target market? Our target market right now is the uh, growers when we're testing the plants. <clears throat> and the largest problem that growers have right now is when they're sending the tests off to uh, certified labs, there's a wait time can be anywhere from three days to three weeks. We often hear of 10 days. Mm -hmm. What sets us apart is we're an in-house testing system and the results are in 15 minutes. Oh, wow. So often when I talk to producers, I ask them how often they test and they said, we test just before we're ready to sell so that we're compliant. Right. When I ask them, how often would you test if you could be testing or get the results in 15 minutes? They said, we will be testing something near every day. Mm -hmm. it, we look at it that it's going to change the way the producers actually conduct themselves. If they're able to get tests and, and see the results in 15 minutes, they can start to optimize their crop. They can change the lighting, they can change the water. Okay. They can actually ch find the optimum time for harvest. Oh. Um, we've got some clients that are uh, wanting to test for early detection of heavy metals, such as cadmium. Uh, cadmium can be carried through in some of the nutrients. Mm -hmm. They want to see that in the first week of growing rather than after the harvest has been completed. Sure. So the, it, it's both a risk mitigation as well as a uh, optimization. For hmm. So is this then the fastest way to test your cannabis for all of these substances for THC, CBD content as well as pesticides? Is this the fastest technology available? I don't know if it's the fastest. It's uh, uh, certainly one of the most accurate. What we're, we only test one thing at a time, but because we only test one thing at a time, it's extremely accurate. As an example, when testing in for heavy metals, uh, uh, much of the regulation is in parts per million. Ours tests in parts per billion. Wow. Um, it, and the test from start to finish, when I say it's 15 minutes, 10 minutes of that is just in the preparation of the sample. When it's in saliva, it's already in the solution form, sure. so it's down to about four minutes. Right. Okay, so if I wanted to <clears throat> test some cannabis that I'd purchased from an illegal dispensary or from a legal dispensary, would I be able to send it to you as a service and you would test it for me and tell me exactly what it was made of and what the contaminants might be? No, in? We, we, we are not a lab that you send. Uh, uh, that, that is not our role. I our see. role is to sell the device to uh, 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 growers that okay. may use it or extractors. So if I'm a dispensary operator and I'm intaking product from a range of suppliers, I might want to have this device so I you could may. actually know what I'm getting. You may very well want to have this device. Interesting. And you could, uh, you could check the, uh, the, the potency uh, clearly. And more importantly, if, you, if there is any suspicion of any contaminants, you can check that very accurately. And so how much does it cost to test a sample? Our model is uh, uh, we sell the device itself the device, uh, currently the pricing is uh, going to be finalized in October when our first sales will be, but it'll be in the order of $20,000 for the device. For the device. And then there's a consumable that goes with it, and that'll be in the order of $50 to $60 for the consumable. Okay, so $50 to $60 per test. And so where will these products be sold? Originally, we're going to be uh, going into market in November. It'll be in Canada, Western Canada. 
Q1 uh, 2019, we'll be coming back to Ontario and Quebec. And then we'll, uh, we expect a lot of the micro producers or the uh, craft producers will, will start to open and we'll be servicing those clients. Hmm. Later uh, in the last half of uh, 2019, we'll be going to all other jurisdictions that are legal to begin sales there as well. Okay, so the how many devices are actively in use by police forces in North America now for roadside testing of sobriety? There's only been pilot programs. Uh, there has been some devices uh, gone out. They have tested some other companies or, or some uh, roadside testing, but uh, there it would be just uh, an, a nominal amount for test for uh, testing the, the devices to see if they actually work. Right. So there has not yet been a device tested that has been then subsequently commercially adopted by a police force for regular use? I understand that there is one that may be uh, adopted by the federal government and they're in negotiations with their agreement. What we have been told is that the uh, federal government will probably take three or four different companies. It makes sense not to have a concentration risk of your supplier. Right. Uh, one of our board members on our company, uh, Rick Hansen, was the former police chief in Calgary and he's uh, been a wealth of information to help us develop this uh, uh, device. Interesting. So of the two sort of business lines, which do you see being the most lucrative for the company going forward? Actually, there's three business lines, but I'll come back to that. Okay. <clears throat> there, there, there are really different markets. Um, testing the plant and going to the growers, we have been told by, uh, or we, we've researched many reports, and it looks like about 5% of the overall cost or the retail value of cannabis will go into testing. Okay. So for round numbers, if we've got a $6 billion market in Canada, that's $300 million. How much of that would be in-house? A third to half of that's in-house. So the market is about a $150 million market hmm. in just in Canada. Sure. Uh, when you extrapolate that out to other jur just jurisdictions, the numbers become quite staggering. Right. Okay. The so roadside testing. Uh, last uh, reports I saw, uh, federal government was budgeting in the order of $80 million for roadside testing. Just to. Speaks get, for itself, get, doesn't get started. it? The, the third product that we have is we have uh, a biomarker. And okay. what we do is we, because we can test and we can see anything that we're looking for, uh, we can put uh, an attribute into the plant. So a water soluble, something that is absorbed into every cell of the plant. Then we can see it. So what this does is it's, it would be like having a diamond and it's got a polar bear etched into it. You know it's a Canadian diamond. Hmm. This allows any producer to put their own signature, their unique signature, on that plant hmm. and then track it all the way through. At um, the molecular level? At the cellular level, yes. The cellular level. Yeah. So would this be something that could be used in uh, life sciences, medicine development, like we want to see where this molecule or the, how it affects cells in different parts of the body? I, I, at th where it would actually be used probably in a greater part is in law enforcement and in customs. Okay. They'll be able to detect if it is uh, been uh, produced by a licensed producer or if it's uh, produced in the black market. Interesting. What we have been uh, advised is that there is um, some black market are using hmm. counterfeit packaging. Hmm. So this allows the manufacturer or the producer to not only track the, the package but to track the plant as well. I see. So can I buy one of these devices because I encounter a great deal of product that people bring to me and say this is you know, this is the best you're ever going to have, this is organic, this is sun-grown with no chemicals, and I would love to have, like, there's nothing to stop me legally from buying one of your devices and, and having some guy make a representation about some product and me testing it on the spot, is there? There's nothing to stop you at all. Okay, no, well, no, here's my, I'm, I'm placing <laughs> one order for one machine, please. <laughs> well, that, that's great, because I've been telling everybody, Halloween will make our first sale, so oh. you just upped the game for yeah, us. Yeah, <laughs> no, there you go. And I, I love the fact that I'm at the front of the line now. Um, so, Rex, you are just starting up. You haven't sold any machines yet. You've got a working, tested prototype that is ready for commercial distribution? That's right. What we have is the first set, uh, first series of production is uh, uh, underway. Actually, I just got the email this morning that all parts are in. Oh, great. So the uh, assembly of it will occur through September. Okay. And, uh, when it's assembled, we do have to have some approvals. There'll be CSA approvals. It is an electronic device. Uh -huh. So we'll be going and getting our approvals completed. 
while we're doing that, uh, next week we'll be going to five uh, LPs. And those five LPs <clears throat> will take the device and look at our, our tutorial apps, run it, go, go through the traps, and make sure it does everything we, we say it does. Mm -hmm. We, we uh, believe that anybody can watch the app and within 15 minutes conduct a test. Oh, wow. And then uh, ensure that the packaging is working uh, as well as we, we expect it to work. Once that's complete, uh, there'll be heavy metals uh, this week. THC and CBD will come out just shortly after uh, Labor Day. And then we'll, we'll finalize all of our packaging, finalize mm. our pricing, and be ready for market uh, Interesting. November 1. Uh, what's the margin on your devices and on your consumables? Uh, w we exceed 50%. Okay, great. Well, that's really great. Um, I mean, I see that the company's recently started trading. You're, you're new to the market, and uh, I'm kind of excited about this product because it's something I've been looking for. And so uh, I'm going to follow the story with interest, and I'm going to invite you back now in three months, four months' time, and uh, when you've got a product, bring it with you, and we'll test some product on I, the show. I look forward to coming back. All right. Thanks, Take Rex. Care. Thanks.